Hello you beautiful people of YouTube, so today I'm bringing you a, a, a video that's quite different than what I usually do, what I usually do are tutorials and transformations and stuff, but today actually I wanted to sit down and talk to you about some products that seriously pissed the shit out of me, because they were so 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 hyped, I ran to Sephora and bought them, but just none of them worked out. Some of these actually are high-end, I have four things I bought at Sephora, and then two things that are from the drugstore. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna jump right into them. Uh, the first one is this little shit. Okay, this is a duo eyelash glue. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this is just a regular white clear one. And sorry, but this is like so bad. Like, I usually use the Revlon eyelash glue or the Kiss eyelash glue that are from the drugstore. But I bought this at Sephora and I think they also sell it at Walgreens, but uh, like, it takes forever to dry. It is not as sticky. And worst of all, this feels like fucking latex. Like, I put on my lashes and when I'm using contact lenses, like, it just irritates my eyes so freaking much. And I end up just ripping them off and using the, do the rub on one or the kiss one. Um, I just really, really hate this. And I paid like $10 for this. It was not that expensive, but I really hate this. And it's so hyped. Like, I initially bought it because Miss Fame used it in one of her tutorials. And I'm like, girl, if, is Miss, if Miss Fame uses it, I have to use it. But this is trash. Trash. Okay, next product. Um, so this isn't really the product itself, this is the NARS Spiritual Domination Palette that came out on the holidays in the States, and I'm not here to talk about the palette itself, because I do like the palette, I do like the blushes, and a little bit the highlight, I mean, I'm not really sold, fully sold on the highlight, but I really like the blushes. What I don't get is Laguna. Like... I tried to buy Laguna by, my, by by itself, like just to bronzer, but I end up buying the palette just to try a little bit more of NARS, like a little bit more products of NARS. And I tried on the, the bronzer and I was so excited because so many people love it. And I, then I apply it to my face and now I'm like, this is orange. And like, I do use it in some of my videos just because it does bronze up the skin and depending on what foundation I'm using but most of the time in my olive tan skin tone it ends up looking orange and kind of muddy and I really don't like this this doesn't really have much pigment to it like it's really really sheer and it has like a golden shimmer to it I mean it's pretty but I wouldn't expend thirty dollars or so in this bronzer if I can buy, I don't know, uh, the Too Faced bronzers for a little less and they are a lot better and if you want to go for drugstore you can go for the Bourjois chocolate bronzer and it's just, that it, that bronzer is really nice but this one is just, why is it so hyped? Like, I don't get it. Next product, this garbage. Okay, you know that I freaking love Urban Decay's. I have the Naked palette, I have the Bias palette, I have the Electric palette, I have their eyeliners, and they're all so good. But, the DS Sleek Makeup Setting Spray, I bought this little uh, travel size one because I just didn't want to buy the $30 one uh, size if I wasn't sure about it. So I bought the 10 fifth no, this was like $15. Um, and this is a travel size. And they talk so good about this. For oily skin, I was like, oh my god, I'm not gonna have to use powder anymore. This is gonna be so great for the summer. This is gonna be so great. And I bought it in New York during the summer, last July, and this is crap. Like, I use it and it literally just makes my makeup, like, separate. Like, when I use my NYX matte setting spray, it doesn't happen. I just stay matte all day long. But when I use this, it just separates and my oiliness comes through. And it just makes me feel wet and nasty and I hate it. Fuck you. Okay. So the next product is... This hurts me. This really, really hurts me, guys. So this is the Naked 3 palette. I bought it because I love Urban Decay, and I love the Naked series, but 
I mean, I see these colors and they're so beautiful and so pigmented. And my biggest complaint would be the matte colors that they're a little bit powdery. But uh, besides that, this the shadows are really easy to blend and they're really nice, really nice color variation. But this is 40 no, this is $54 for like 12 shadows, I believe. Yeah, 12 shadows. And to be honest, they're very good dupes for this one. For example, the Rebuild 2. I know that Maybelline just came out with the blush nudes, that it's not actually a dupe, but it's a really good alternative. But the Rebuild 2 is just a smooth, probably more pigment in it, just as good to blend. And it's like 20 bucks, the whole palette, and they. It comes with 20 shadows, so you get a lot more and just as good quality. So that's why I don't think the Naked 3 is worth the hype, although I really do love this palette and would be the only thing I recommend out of these products. Okay, so moving on to drugstore. Uh, <laughs> NYX just got to my country like a few months ago and I was so hyped about it. And I went out and bought their eyeshadow base and I got the color white pearl. I initially wanted to buy the white one but I ended up buying this one for some reason. And this is so greasy guys. <laughs> like this is so greasy and when I put it on by itself it just looks like I have white shimmers on my eyelid. And they instantly crease. And this is just not good for eyeshadow. I don't know if the white one or the skin tone one will be better because I know that my friend Shanna from Eye Makeup Everything loves the NYX one in the color, in the skin tone color. But just this one is so bad. And I mean, you can use it as a highlighter for drag or for uh, costumes, Halloween maybe, but this is not good for like eyeshadow base, which is its purpose. So. And the last thing is something I hated so much. Well, not really. It's something I just really don't like. Did like um, that was so freaking hyped from the moment it came out. I think in Europe and the UK, and then in the United States. And I bought it in December or January, I think. And it was the Maybelline Brow Drama. I used the color deep brown or dark brown, something like that. And like. I have already very felt brows, so sometimes I like to go for a more natural look. So I, I would just brush that, and some people complain about the wand, but the wand wasn't really a problem to me. So I would just brush it, and my problem wasn't the application, my problem was the formula. The formula was so goopy, and made my eyelashes so hard, and I don't know, maybe it's uh, my eyelash, my eyelashes. My brow hairs, <laughs> maybe my brow hairs are too thick because I, I reckon they're really, really thick. And so maybe it was my problem, my personal problem with the formula, but if you have thick eyebrows, I wouldn't recommend that pro the, the, the brow drama because it's so goopy and makes your eyebrows so hard and it's really hard to remove. Like I tried removing it with regular eye makeup remover, but it wouldn't just, it wouldn't come off. So that's everything, you guys. Thank you for tuning in on my channel again. I hope you have a great rest of the day, or rest of the week, or rest of the month, or something like that. Um, if you got any suggestions for further videos, please comment them down below. Give th this video a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay tuned with my uploads, I guess. Anyways, see you soon. Bye.